I'm Liat Clark, Associate Editor at Wired.co.uk. Today we're here for Wired Next Generation. We're in London's Tobacco Dock. We've got an amazing day of workshops and speakers lined up and we're excited to get started. I think events like today are incredibly important for young people because this is the next generation of makers and creators. Good morning and welcome to Wired Next Generation 2014. Uh, as David just said, we've got a really exciting and inspirational day for you guys today. I hope you're uh, really excited because there are some treats in store. What I love to do is work with scientists, uh, learn about their work and then write a song about what it is that they do. Always do your best, constantly improve, innovate and think long term because everything you put on the internet is there forever. Building a program is much like building your own little world where you control the vocabulary, the rules, the structures, every minute detail of your little world. I've been working for six, seven years in a programming languages and I was amazed how complex they are so in 10 class grade I challenged myself, hey can I build my own programming language? I think it's important that we learn to educate ourselves outside like you guys are doing here, learning about other things. I cannot tell you how thrilled I am to be here today uh, sitting or standing in front of the next generation, standing in front of the people who are going to be running this country, standing in front of the people who are going to be running this world, you. If you work hard enough, you get more lucky, do you know what I mean? The harder you work, the luckier you get. Probably 70% of you think that I'm lying when I say that you're special, and I really hope you figure out a way to get over that. But you really do have to just stop worrying and put yourself out there and believe in yourself a lot more. For this project came from a like, uh, headphone maker called III and they asked me to create sound sculpture which translates street noise into something with present sound. Once you have the power to be on somebody's dress, like you have the power to advertise or you are on somebody else's surface, then interesting things can happen. Any successful design project requires a lot of people to get involved with vast different skills. There's a huge satisfaction with having an abstract problem solved in your head, but when you actually make it, it's immensely satisfying. So I decided to be brave and call it Hide My Ass, and in one afternoon, literally one afternoon, I created a website with a logo and a text box, some open source technology behind that, and launched Hide My Ass. Whatever it is that you're doing, try and focus on something that you're really passionate about, because when the going gets tough, and it will get tough in anything that you start, you've got to be passionate about what you want to do. If you would like to build a career from your passions, it doesn't matter how different they are. All you need to do is pursue your passions, get together a toolkit, and then present it to the world. For me, going into space was just not an option. Yeah, when I went to um, at school, nobody from Britain had been into space, and, um, and it just wasn't even on my agenda. You get these rather amazing sort of wave-like shapes in bridges, which can be caused purely by wind. That's our rocket. So that was a rocket firing we did almost two years ago. That was the loudest noise on planet Earth that was man-made. The only two things that have been louder were Ariane taking off or in a volcano erupting. And we just want to give another round of applause to our speakers and to all the people who came in to run workshops and to all the people who came in uh, for, the, the, for the test lab and for the uh, interactive zone today. So please, a round of applause again for our speakers. We hope you've had a wonderful day and we hope to see you next year. Thanks a lot.